Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Priyanka Kumar, your tarot card reader. I'm back again with another video. Uh, so this reading is called the no contact situation. So this is in particularly for a relationship or for your person who is separated from you and uh, you are seeking guidance, you don't know what to do, you don't know if you should wait or go ahead, move on or what is actually happening in their minds and how is that you are going to deal with the situation. So I'll be looking at the guidance for you in this particular situation. So this is particularly the no contact reading. All right. If you're new to my channel, this is uh, pick a card readings and uh, I do this on a daily basis. I'm sorry, on a regular basis with different kinds of topics. And uh, I see how I can deliver messages to you that you are meant to hear from the universe. So what you're going to do is close your eyes and meditate upon your situation for a while or the person that you're not in contact with that you would like to know what is actually happening in this connection. In that case, you will close your eyes, think of this person or and the situation and whichever pile that you are most guided towards, you will choose that pile and the timestamps are mentioned in the description below. So pile number one, we have the yellow star. Pile number two, we have the blue star. Pile number three, we have the green star. Take a moment to analyze your situation. Take a few deep breaths and then see whichever card or the pile that you are mostly attracted to. All right, so we'll move on to the reading. Welcome to group number one. For those who picked the yellow star, let's look at what are the messages for you. Six of Wands. King of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. All reversals. Apparently, I do not do reversals. So, let me just see what are the messages for you for your no contact situation. <sighs> Heavy energies. And uh, I feel the no contact zone that you have with your person is for a good reason. I feel that this relationship was not very well balanced and also uh, this relationship had something to do with the ego and attitude of your person. Maybe you did not like it. Maybe this was something that you did not enjoy it as much and you made a bold decision and a bold move to be extremely honest with your partner and then decided to just leave the situation. This no contact situation has made you feel extremely joyful for a reason and I also see that um, you're in love with yourself now. You feel happy, you feel free and you feel like you've gained a huge um, lesson from this situation and you feel like you, you are you by yourself. I feel that you've become a strong person. And there's no contact situation. The separation that has happened uh, is extremely wonderful. Okay. I don't see that uh, the deck energy is the three of uh, swords. I see that this relationship was too painful to you. And it was a lot of overburden, too much stress. It was not going in the direction that you were wanting to. And I also think that there were too many people involved in this situation. Because of which I see that you are not happy. This is actually a big blessing in your life because you are going to manifest something much more beautiful and something that you are actually worth uh, of true love. Okay, I see that um, the decision that you've made is not even making you feel guilty. I think that the no contact situation has happened because of you and it is for a good reason. And you were the one who walked away from the scenario even before your person walked away. 
so it is your big decision and it is your move that you have uh, come to this uh, situation right so pretty much straightforward um let me check if this person is going to come back in your life although i think that now that you're in your happy space you shouldn't be considering but is this person going to come back in your life all right i see that no uh, this person is not going to be co coming back in your life and i think that you will also be okay with it they may be uh, they may not be extremely happy about it and uh, i see that you will be very joyful but they won't be uh, although it feels like they know you very well they actually do not know you well uh so i see that they will keep thinking about you but they will not come back to you they have the fear of coming back to you and because uh somewhere i feel that they are kind of stalking you and they know how happy you are without them so that keeps them away from uh coming back to you and that keeps them uh, you know uh somewhere of make me makes them feel guilty also that they couldn't keep you as happy and they see you that being single you could be so happy but being in a relationship they couldn't keep you happy at all so they have this feeling of guilty and that guilty uh, will not allow them to come towards you they stop themselves because if they make the move they know they are going to hurt you and uh, they won't be able to uh, take that so i think that they have also grown and become mature in this relationship and uh, they will be able to just see you as a happy person and uh move away from you all right so i will just pick a few messages for you from them this is one of my own decks so it's called messages from your love so let's look at what messages they have for you wish we didn't have to live life in parts isn't that so beautiful you know uh it, it's that and then your love gives me migraine and it was worth giving another try it's so beautiful how these cards connect with each other so well and uh, see it says that wish we didn't have to live life in parts it means that they also didn't give completely into this relationship and they were not uh, they themselves are agreeing to the part that they did not give completely into this relationship they lived in parts they gave themselves only in bits and pieces and then they're expecting a good result to come out of it which is not going to happen right so and your love gives, gives me a migraine it was worth giving an, it another try maybe they did try uh, but that try was not successful because i see that you had moved on and you are in a happy place and you did not want anybody to invade your freedom and your joyful space so even though they gave you another try uh, you did not accept it which is wonderful and i i see that uh, that's a very strong bold move that you've made to uh, you know to say no to somebody is actually a very big deal i can totally understand that and your love gives me a migraine which means that they kept trying 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 and now even they are tired of it and you know they are also starting to think if they should move on right so that is the message from them towards you and i will pick one last card for uh, you know the uh, power of love deck i will just pick one last guidance card for your situation the card says tolerance you appreciate other points of view because you you sense the love in everyone so i think that uh, you were also compassionate about this person you were also considerate and you were tolerating whatever that uh, this person had to offer you because of the kind of love that you have and your heart is very pure and clean you know so you don't have any negative emotions about this person it is just that you were not happy and you decided to willingly move away from this for a reason and that gave them a lot of lesson but you know this comes with an experience that uh, they have realized how much you have tolerated in this relationship for them and you are able to give yourself so much into 
love and i feel a lot of heavy energies here maybe you know uh, you also need to relax and accept the situation although i see that uh, you have accepted you have moved on you're happy in your own space because of the kind of pain that you went through you made a strong decision all that is said and done but still there is something behind maybe subconsciously that you're still holding on to because i feel extremely high heavy energies that is blocking your heart you know so probably and also i would say use more of greens in your life that will unblock your heart chakra or the anahata uh, so you know that will make you more loving and compassionate towards your person all right i'm not saying towards this person but with whomever you are and for yourself be more kind to yourself and let go of the situation completely all right so that's the message that i have for you today in this reading i hope this resonated if so please do let me know in the comments below i would be more than happy to hear from you thank you so much for listening out to me today i will see you soon. welcome to group number two for those who picked the blue star let's look at what is the message for you it's the card of the fool let's look at what your situation is in this no contact period and then we will see how the reading unfolds into various questions there are a lot of cards that fell but i'm gonna take all of them what is this no contact zone about all right the no contact zone both of you are suffering both of you are not happy there this relationship involves a lot of risk it involves uh, it involves too much of deep level of understanding which i think you guys already have it because of the connection that you share with each other i would also say that this is a very intense uh, deep soulmate kind of a connection where you get each other without even having to explain what you're going through so that is the kind of uh, situation that you are even though you're not in touch with each other you're not in i mean you're in the no contact zone you are unable to talk to each other i still feel that there is something that you already understand about this connection without even having to express with words there is this nurturing energy there is this warmth and care and uh, uh, as I mentioned, it involves a lot of risk, but I see that both of you are still looking at it from a different perspective and seeing how you can actually make this happen. So that is the kind of energy that I'm ge getting through these cards. So let me check for what is the near future for this relationship. Now that you are in no contact zone, what is the near future for this relationship? The Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Okay, I see that um, there is going to be a stable period that is going to come ahead. And uh, I see that even that can be a lot of stress. But still you will be able to make it through. Uh, I don't know if you guys are planning to live together or move into a live-in relationship or move into a different city overall. But there is something that is going to happen in terms of moving okay there will be something that is moving there is still hope in this relationship there is still a sign that uh, something will get manifested whatever that you're dreaming about whatever that you are asking for will come to you and uh, you need to have a lot of patience okay it is not going to happen easily uh, so I keep picking up these kind of signs that it is not going to be easy for you at all. Okay. And um, there are a lot of hurdles and obstacles. But eventually you will still get through it. Okay. Eventually you will still get through it because, because of the wonderful bond that you share. Okay. And um, I see that every minute with this person makes your heart throb, right? Every moment that you share, it is like you know that this is it. This is what you want. So this is the kind of person that you know you 
actually have manifested in your uh, life with a huge uh, blessing i would say okay uh, there is this uh, lack of experience that both of you have in relationships or to deal with a certain situation that is why it feels like an adventure okay this relationship um, maybe you were not ready for this no contact zone so quickly it is all because you have to learn certain lessons in your life i see that you know uh you were all bubbly and you know childlike and you were very innocent you were not uh you were not uh, bothered about the future or you didn't know how to deal with situations like that or you thought that this connection is just going so nicely with the flow of it there is nothing that you have to bother about so you were like that so now because of this no contact zone it is helping you understand even more in depth about the situation as to how uh, you have to become i think you're going to become more mature in terms of this relationship okay uh, let me see what is that that is blocking this relationship because uh, i see the beautiful connection here but something is blocking your relationship and it's in the no contact zone all right the seven of pentacles and the six of cups okay i see that uh, one thing is could be financial status uh, they are not stable as of now and they may be wondering how can they all uh, satisfy your dreams and desires if they don't earn enough money and i also see that this relationship is little too young to be uh, considered into another huge commitment or taking it into the next step as i said that there is a beautiful connection but it's too early to decide about what is the next step maybe you're thinking of commitment marriage that is not on the cards as of yet so it is good and that is the uh, obstacle that where you know the emotions are good enough the way that it is and they think that uh maybe both of you are still young and you need to find jobs and um or if you're already old enough maybe you don't have a stable job and you're looking for that stability so right now it is where it is okay but there is definitely hope in this relationship and this person will contact you okay i would say uh it's the card of actually divine timing so wait for another 8 days probably there will be a good sign from for you from this person and uh, you will receive what you are seeking for okay i will pick out messages for you from your loved one what are they trying to say to you in this no contact period still in search of you so beautiful isn't it you are my only adventure so the message that they have for you is that still in search of you and you are my only adventure as i told you earlier this this relationship itself is like an adventure for them and it involves so much of risk and so much adventure in many many ways right so they feel that this is i think it's very much self explanatory right they are still in searching for you there they, there's this beautiful connection there is nothing to worry about this pile at all for whoever picked this pile your person is definitely thinking of you there is definitely going to be a reconciliation although this has happened for a particular reason you both will grow tremendously from this scenario okay you will grow tremendously and you will understand a lot of things of how to deal with real life situations all right so that's all the message that i have for you uh in this reading today and i hope this helped uh, if so please do let me know in the comments below i would be more than happy to hear from you i will see you again sometime soon take care and have a good day bye bye welcome to group number 3 for those who picked the lovely green star let's look at what is the message for you in this no contact period it's the page of swords <coughs> i will pick more cards for your situation pentacles page of swords and the temperance there's a lot of uh, 
from wanting to be alone kind of a situation. I see that both of you are in your own zone. Your person wants to balance out things, but you are not ready for it. You are asking for more than what is being give, offered to you, but you want more. You feel that you deserve more. You feel that uh, you are more creative, you are abundant. You want to paint your own picture, but your person has a different picture for, for you in their mind. I say that the no contact situation in your life is a very bold move. It's not that you wanted it or he wanted it. I'm sorry, your partner wanted it. It could be he or she. But this has happened because you asked for it more. I strongly feel that you are intuitive. You are able to sense uh, what you can uh, what you are going through or what you can manifest or how you see yourself in the future but you also have a limiting self-belief that you will not be able to give uh, what the person is asking you for right what you want and your person wants are two different things maybe they are willing to balance out the whole situation they are willing to balance out career and relationships. But I think for you, career is more important than your love life. Your love life is just a part of it. But I think you're very career oriented, you're goal oriented. And uh, you want to achieve bigger dreams. You are somebody who, who works hard for what you truly believe in. You like traveling places. You want to keep wandering for work. You want to keep educating yourself, look for new ideas and much more than that. But I feel that because of the relationship, maybe it's not allowing you to do all that that you want. I also see that you feel there is no balance. Balance is the card coming quite often. I am sorry, some of the cards fell away, but yeah, I pick up a message from them as well that you feel that you are, uh, whatever this person is willing to offer you is not even true. You feel maybe they're just talking, they're not acting or they are acting in a different direction. I see that the happy picture that you painted, maybe it's only their picture and not your picture. You're scared. You have been too much alone in your life and I see that you like, you embrace that loneliness. You embrace being alone. You feel that you shine your light only when you are alone and not with somebody else. You feel that if somebody else enters your life, they have the power over you to choose your happiness and choose everything that you have to do in your life, which is what bothers you the most. I see that you are scared of relationships. You thought that you will be able to go through. You thought that yes, I will deal with it. You thought I will balance this out. But it did not happen that way. After coming halfway through, you realized that this is not so important for you as much as your own career. I think that the no contact situation is completely because of you. Because... The deck energy being the Eight of Cups, I see that this is your situation. You walked away. You still have love. You still have passion. You still hold a lot of emotions. But you chose to walk away. This relationship, I think your partner has put a lot of efforts. They're still, still trying to put efforts. I think you should give them a chance because... They are moving mountains for you. They are going against the wind for you. They are willing to travel for you. They are willing to do everything. So I see that it's a beautiful connection where you should give opportunity to understand this person even more deeper than what they are. I see that you like to take in charge of the situation more than letting them do it for you. Somewhere you feel you are the dominating one and you like to be that way right 
let me just check what is the potential of this relationship and then I will be able to tell you if this no contact is good or bad for you. What is the future potential of this relationship? Ah, the three of swords. The future potential of the relationship is also because, see, there is a lot of passion. See, this is very conflicting. You have a lot of ego that you're holding on to. You want things to go your way. But you know, this connection is so beautiful with the lover's card here. It is, it is actually a beautiful one. Your person is, you are, see, the deck energy, the air of swords. You are in this connection, you are in this state of mind only because of yourself. You are trapping your own self. Why would you want to do that? Like, you know this person. See guys, I'll tell you something. It's very difficult to find a person who is always giving themselves, who is offering themselves rather than, especially in this generation, it's mostly about what what do I get out of it? What will I gain if I be in this relationship? And here, your person is willing to offer themselves to you. They are at the giving end and not at the receiving end. They just want you to embrace it and receive it, right? So as I mentioned earlier that this relationship has taken a break only because of you and only because of you that there is this no contact situation. Let go of your ego and contact this person because there's a huge potential in this relationship. Okay, uh, I will uh, pick a few cards from the another deck, the messages from your love and the cards that I've received is is it your fault or mine and you broke my heart at a million pieces so see they are if they have even reached the state of blaming themselves for whatever has happened in this situation which is not good right why why do you want to play the blame game with each other just forgive each other and embrace the love that you have that is more important you know misunderstandings are very often uh, going to appear in a relationship but it is what happens after that how you would want to deal with the situation and with how much maturity will you accept this person again in your life is what matters whenever there is a pause or a break in our relationship it teaches us many many things that um, you know we tend to forget but these are most important life lessons if you if we keep breaking up after every single fight then we wouldn't even be having any relationship with anybody right so it's important to understand that this no contact zone has created that beautiful space for you to understand that how much this person truly values you how much they understand you and how much they are willing to offer to you okay and after giving so much of it if you're not responding then it definitely breaks their heart so that's what they're trying to tell you that even though they did so much and they are still heartbroken they are still willing to give themselves and they are still thinking if it was their fault to love you this way so deeply and offer themselves to you right so don't let this relationship go let go of your ego i'm not saying give up on everything but balance it out guys balance balance is very very important balance out the situation your career is as important and your relationship is as important as well so learn how to balance out the situation and i see that your partner is also going to be willingly helping you towards making this balance okay i'm only saying this again and again because there's a huge potential in this relationship and it is going to be absolutely wonderful for the two of you if you learn how to balance and if you understand the love and the concern that you have for each other and don't have your fears of how this is going to go in the future or do not think that maybe you're too much in the comfort zone that you think that you can be all by yourself and that is going to be absolutely wonderful for you but the truth is that you will be wonderful even in your relationship. So do not have this fear and do not have this self-limiting belief about yourself in this relationship. Alright, so that's all I have for you in this reading today. I hope this helps. If so, please do let me know in the comments below. I would be more than happy to hear from you. I will see you sometime again soon. 
Take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.